All right, so now we're going to be talking a little bit about the shipping information and how to set up a carrier and some of the preferences of that carrier. Uh, so let me go ahead and erase this one right over here and we're going to add a new one. Uh, so by default, Presto Shop comes with two carriers. It comes with uh, one here that says pick up and store and the other one that has a delivery next day. But we're going to be adding our own. So we'll go ahead to the top right here and click add new carrier. Now, uh, we have a list here of recommended carrier modules. Now, some of these uh, modules set up your carriers for you and give you a couple of different functionality. Uh, just definitely go ahead and read more just in case you do want to check these out. But for right now, we're going to add our own customized carrier. So we'll click on this add new carrier. We have the carrier name. Uh, we'll go ahead and add this one as ground shipping. The transit time is going to be three to five days. And the speed grade is going to be based on zero to nine scale. So for zero is going to be the longest shipping delay, while nine is going to be for the shortest shipping delay. So for example, this one will leave at five. Uh, we also have the ability to add our own logo to our shipping carrier, which will be shown here on the left and also in the front office. If your carrier does by any chance have a, a tracking method, you could also specify the tracking URL. Uh, for example, if you use FedEx, you could use their tracking URLs by uh, following this description here. So for right now, we'll just go ahead and click next. Uh, here we have the ability to add handling cost. So do you want uh, to add any handling cost? And this could be later specified in preferences. But for right now, uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it to yes. We are going to be adding a handling cost for our for our carriers um, or for this one anyway. Uh, we have the ability to add a free shipping or not free shipping. For example, if I do go ahead and toggle this to yes, you are going to notice that all these are going to gray out. And the reason is because there's nothing to charge. Also, this add handling cost is going to revert back to no. So we'll go ahead and switch this back. Now, as far as the calculation method, you could specify the following ranges by according to total price or according, according to total weight. Uh, so for example, if let's say somebody buys $100 or more of value goods, uh, then definitely you could maybe give them a discount on that carrier. Uh, or somebody, let's say, buy something that weighs more than 100 pounds, then you might have to charge a little more for carrier. Uh, so definitely for right now, we'll just do it according to total price. We'll select this. Uh, tax, we'll select no tax, although you could add any tax to this carrier. And what happens out of the out of range of behavior? If something is out of the range of what we have specified, you could either disable the carrier or just add the highest defined range. And we'll show that in just a moment. So since we have it according to total price, let's say uh, from $0 to uh, $100, you're going to charge $10 for shipping. And also, since I did enable here for North America, this carrier will only be visible and able to be used in North America. The same follows for the uh, following. So definitely if I want to say I want to ship to Europe, I could also select Europe and maybe charge a little bit more. So the next range will be, let's say they buy more than $100. Let's say they buy from 100 to maybe $500. Then we'll reduce the price just a bit, or um, yeah, we could reduce it just a, just a bit. We'll leave it at $10, and this one we'll leave it at uh, $9. And we'll add one more range. So let's say they buy more than $500 worth of, a, of goods from your store, then definitely we could give them um, free shipping so we have the ability to add a free shipping here now there's uh two ways we could add sh uh, free shipping now free shipping can be done in a global scale where it could apply for all the carriers so for example like we did this at uh this setting here if they buy more than 500 
we could enable all of them to be free shipping and that could be done in preferences but for this one specifically we're just going to specify this for this one so this one this carrier is going to be free after five hundred dollars so we'll go ahead and click on next now here we have the package um the, what is the maximum package width? So this is going to be the maximum that is going to be allowed for your carrier to take this item or this uh, this purchase. Uh, now, if you do leave this blank, they are going to be ignored. So definitely you could um, have an indefinite amount of, um, of weight or width or something like that. So this group access box here allows us to make this carrier available for the following groups. So let's say for example, you have a group uh, that's in your good customers and they're very good customers. You might want to give them a special carrier that's a little bit cheaper. You could also do that by going to this section here. Uh, for this one, we're just gonna make this visible to our visitors, our guests, and our customers. We'll go ahead and click on next. And this just gives us an overview of everything that we've set up here, how many, um, the, the delivery announcement date, uh, if it's free or not free, uh, and some other options. And we also have the ability here to enable this or not enable this. And then we could just click on finish here. And as you can see, this carrier has been added here at the bottom. Now, using the status and free shipping, we could also toggle between them. For example, if I have this check mark here, this carrier is enabled. If I check this again, it will disable the carrier. And for this one here, uh, free shipping is disabled. So right now it's using the settings we created using the ranges. If I by any chance was um, to click this and enable this option, then everything that we uh, set up is going to be ignored. So keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and check out the preferences section here. Now, here we have the ability to add uh, what was the handling charges that we wanted to add to each carrier. So if you did a specify a carrier uh, that did uh, charge handling costs, here you could specify how much uh, you want to charge for that. Let's say you wanted to do free shipping on a global scale. Here's the option where you get to do that. So let's say, um, as mentioned earlier before, if you wanted to make it, um, if somebody buys something over $500 and you want all carriers to automatically make it free, you could do so in this section. And if you do leave it at zero, they are going to be disabled. And also uh, keep in mind that coupons are not taken into account when calculating free shipping. Uh, now here we have some just more shipping options, uh, carrier options such as default carrier, uh, which carrier you would like to make as your default. Also, uh, would you like these carriers to be sorted automatically by price uh, or position or the ascending or descending? So definitely let me go ahead and show you that very quickly, how they are going to look like. We're going to the front office here. So we're gonna to go to my shop. Uh, I've made a customer account. It's very easy. You just go ahead and select your name, your address. And um, once you sign in, you're just going to show this bar here. That's a sign out. So I'm going to go ahead and add a product. I added this dress. I'm going to the checkout. Here I have a basic summary of my shopping cart. We're going to proceed to checkout. Uh, we already signed in, so we skip this part and we go to address. Now, right now I have my shop set up to uh, base the shipping of my delivery address. So we are in Miami, Florida, United States. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on proceed to checkout. And now we have two options, my carrier and ground shipping. Well, okay, that's great. Now, why don't we have pickup and store? Um, we do have that option in here, it's enabled. So why exactly isn't it not showing up here? Well, if we take a look at uh, pick up in my store, we'll take a look at edit. All right, so we'll go to shipping locations and cost. And if we notice here, we only have an option or a check mark uh, enabled for 
Europe. Now, our address did indicate that we are in Miami, Florida, United States. So this is the reason that this particular carrier is not going to show up uh, here on our list. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind um, when you are setting up your carriers to definitely watch out for which regions you want to make them available. Um, so definitely I could switch between the two here. Uh, so if I was to go back and let's say make this available for North America, uh, which is where my address is, and I click on finish. And we go here and we're going to refresh the page. You notice here that now I have pick up and store. So now it did become available. And that's because I have added this to be uh, available for both Europe and uh, North America. So I want to show you one other um one other way to set up your met, uh, your shipping methods. Uh, so wherever your location is, you have different shipping modules that you may use. Uh, for example, I'm going to use, let's say FedEx. So I have a FedEx module. It's created by Press Shop and it's completely free. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install. And it's just going to take a couple of uh, seconds here for this to install this module onto my store. Keep in mind that modules just extend the functionality of your store. If you do not find something here, uh, you could always head on to the Presto Shop add-on Smart Kit Place, where you have the ability to search uh, thousands of modules that um, could extend your functionality, and you could also search them by country. So definitely, if there's a particular um, carrier you're looking for. Uh, you could always search and see if it's available. Uh, so now we have some options here to set up and configure our FedEx. Uh, definitely we need a FedEx account. Uh, we need a, a meter number, the password. Here it shows you where to get this information. And just some basic information that this module gives us. Uh, so definitely now that we've installed it, even though we haven't set it up, if we go to shipping and we go to carriers, we see that all these FedEx uh, carriers have been added for us. So we have Europe First International, FedEx One Day, Two Day, Three Day, uh, definitely Smart Post, Standard Overnight. All these carriers are now configured and their price are going to be handled by the actual module. So definitely the, mod the module is going to tell FedEx uh, where your customer is located and based on FedEx's price is going to give them that uh, that information. So definitely one thing you can do is set up your own uh, carriers just as we've done here. Or if you want to be a little more dynamic and it's available for your region, you could always install one of these modules, which then sets everything up for you. Uh, so definitely if you could see although they're enabled uh, and we refresh the page they still don't show up and that's just because we haven't actually configured the fedex um, module another uh, quick note that i do want to state is uh, once you add any of these um, carriers that were added automatically by a module don't edit them so if you go to edit and you start uh, messing with some of the information as you can see here for example, this range might not be what you would like. Uh, please don't edit these as the module itself um, handles it uh, differently. So these you don't have to touch, only touch the ones you've added manually. <laughs>